Well, hello everybody. I want to start a new project to build my own 12 inch subwoofer. So I have this cabinet, uh, it's a Monarch Core uh, 12 inch cabinet. I'm gonna use this one for, uh, for having all the things inside. And um, what I'm gonna use, some parts like this power supply that's 600 watts plus minus uh, 58 volts I remember and this will supply one of these kits it's um, a class D amplifier 500 watts I'm not sure it can uh, supply 500 watts but if I have 200 watts of subwoofer then it should be wonderful so that's the little, uh, the little one I told about and it have a, a fan also so these things together and later I'm gonna have one of these this is a subwoofer filter so here I'm gonna have the volume and uh, the dip of the frequencies so this one goes from uh, 35 Hertz to 150 so then you can then you can choose the amount of low frequencies. Okay, so let's put the things together. First of all, I uh, I'm gonna attach uh, a plug because this power supply is running on uh, 220 to 30 European uh, ends, and this goes right here. It's saying very clear AC 220 and there is a fuse also so I have to put this here oh hello there may I present you my friend Tommy 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 the cat hi Tommy how are you my dear huh how do I are you okay hello there Hey, get 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 That's my boy. Okay, get out of here. Out. Bye. We have the we have the plug connection here. 220 volts. For now, let me see if my power supply is working properly. So let me check if the if the voltage here it's in order so 3 and 4 it's ground or common and I have 60 volts so this is the plus here 1 2 it's plus and this is that should be minus with 60.6 .6. perfect 16.8 perfect so the power supply is working now I have to do the connection to the power amplifier. Okay, so all the connection done. Um, it was a kind of uh, difficult here because there was no documentation about uh, this kind of uh, power amplifier. But I found a picture and that shows very clear how are these connections here. So we have minus we have ground and plus there's the power supply on the left one two three then we have these connections on the right that's the loudspeaker out and that goes right here behind this of course later all these uh, wirings at least the ones going from the amplifier to the power supply should be as short as possible and like I said before be really careful because this this is a high voltage here so it's not a joke and now <laughs> ladies and gentlemen it's moment of truth let's power it up so the fan is running this is in there is a kind of smoke there 
What is this about? I don't know. Yes, we have a little resistor there. It's 10 ohms and it's part of RC resistance capacitance uh, filter connected to the output of the amplifier. So later I found out all these strange reactions are because of bad shielding and uh, it was auto oscillating somehow and that's why uh, it was burning. Well, it's really smoking there. In fact, when I was touching the in, uh, it was uh, catching some signals from uh, from the loudspeaker, from the cable itself, you know, and uh, auto oscillating. That's why the resistor get burned. Do you think it's okay here? 59 volts plus minus fifty nine and fifty nine that's minus there and it's plus here that's okay here let's see if we have any voltage any direct current on the loudspeaker nothing here it's okay you know something, I have another one. Let's put it on. Yes, we are recording, so I just I put I put another one here. And that's the in here. Okay. Power on. Fan it's working. Nice. Same story. I don't understand what is happening. Let's have some uh, music. Yes, so uh, finally it's working, but I'm not glad at all about uh, these things. First of all, there is a 10 ohms resistor over here, and uh, the tone goes through a capacitor to the ground, and that resistor get burned from the beginning, from the early beginning. Then uh, I had I had to dump the in with uh, 22 nano 22 nano capacitance. Also, I had to I had to replace the, that uh, resistor here, and I don't have a proper one. I put a 30 ohms instead of 10. And uh, I'm not I'm not satisfied at all about the power. It's very limited. No. oscilloscope here and uh, from the beginning I can see uh, a frequency of uh, 100 and let's say 40 something kilohertz well it's not so great around uh, mm, 0 0.44 volts that's pretty okay, let's say. 
and then um, let's see I applied a 440 Hertz I couldn't see any kind of uh, sinusoid wave on my oscilloscope it's kind of strange all kind of jittering signals and artifacts yeah it's smoking again so there is um even with no signal there is 1.1 kilohertz around it's kind of crazy all kind of oscillations and stuff like this 123 kilohertz also yes I have one one kilohertz there 1000 hertz It's nothing like a sine wave is jumping up and down. Some, some power. That sounds pretty okay, but it's 500 hertz now. test for uh, this little one uh, well I'm very disappointed about uh, power and the sound uh, quality and uh, there are a lot of other things to say about uh, I think it's working for a uh, for a small house amplifier a small house uh, subwoofer uh, like 50 watts or something but there is no way this one can deliver 500 watts like they are saying finally i i really don't recommend you this kind of uh, this kind of amplifier just uh, you know if you if you want to have some fun and uh, you want to put these things together the power supply it's very good it's very nice and uh, that's that this this one can be used can be used for uh, for another project. Uh, so finally, it's not uh, it's not worth it to waste your time with this kind of uh, amplifier. After more tests, I found out that this kind of amplifier are very prone to auto oscillation, and that's why the ins at least it have to be really really shielded. Use uh, good cables, shielded cables, and like I did to have a kind of uh, capacitor in parallel with the in, and uh, that should be like 10 uh, to 22 nanofarads, and that helps a lot. Also, you may use some capacitor uh, the exit, you know kind of extra filter if it's possible anyway uh, like I said I'm, I'm pretty disappointed about this uh, it's not working like uh, I thought and uh, it's okay for let's say for a room a subwoofer or a, for a small uh, hub let's say room amplifier but for the money I have to say that uh, that's the price and that's the quality you can't expect anything else well somehow it's working let me say like 40 50 percent it's working I, I I couldn't test the, the maximum power because it was auto oscillating and uh, it, it was getting blocked. Maybe I didn't uh, try the right signals, but anyway, like I said, it's just a hobby, you know, like a weekend hobby. You can use it like that. Thank you for now, folks, and don't forget to subscribe.